this game seems to think it's a bad hotel. Let me tell you, I've dealt with bad hotels in my day, and this isn't one of them. Sure, there might be mephitic clouds trying to blow it down, birds with missiles attempting to remodel your room the hard way, and snakes with bombs strapped to their heads. But at least the freaking ice makers work. And it's all to the consternation of this jerk who feels very frustrated by the fact you're actually turning a profit on the joint, when he just wanted to take a match to the place and collect his big old insurance payout. And you get to play Faulty Tower Defense to scuttle his schemes. The goal is simple, protect the core of your hotel from wave after wave of animals, atmospheric phenomena, and the occasional giant enemy crab. You do this by building additions to the hotel, which might just include repair units, mine firing turrets, proton cannons, freeze guns, and other such devices to stop, intercept, or blow apart the attackers. However, these things cost money, and bomb-toting snakes don't really have that much in the way of pocket change on their persons. So in order to drum up the scratch for new and better weapon systems, you need to install room blocks, which generate revenue at fairly quick intervals and act as blast shielding for your more crucial functions. And for whatever reason, they sound really good doing it too. Every room you build, every brick you lay, resounds in time with the rest, creating an ever-growing soundscape that just happens to be a functioning hotel at the same time and is beating back hordes of snakes with bombs strapped to their heads. That's a sentence never before created in the history of human existence, and I'm proud to apply it here. Bad Hotel isn't just a competent strategy game, it's also some strange hybrid of Electroplankton and Sim Tower. This is the res of tower defense, with a pleasant combination of chimes, bleeps, creeps, and sweeps, you yourself crafted even if you had no idea how the heck you just did it, and anyway you were too busy trying to deal with that giant unholy cumulus up there to even pay attention. The net effect is that the procedurally generated soundtrack ends up pleasing no matter what you do, where you put things, or how you decide to go about defending your hotel. Bad Hotel is, well let's be honest, it's strange. Really, really strange. A cleanly drawn art deco mishmash of ideas dotting a pleasant soundscape. All I can say is, it works, and it certainly brings the challenge. Some stages throw the kitchen sink at you from the word go, giving you almost no time to plan your defenses. You're frantically throwing guns onto your building in the middle of a firefight only to have a conjoining room block blow up and take out an entire wing with it. Or it's a much slower progression of attackers with occasional spikes of activity that tax your designs. It's a clever little game, and the next time I find myself holed up in some sleazebag hotel with rats scurrying off with my toothpaste, I'll take comfort in the fact that at least, at least, there aren't snakes with bombs tied to their heads. <laughs> <laughs>